I'm back from a three-day trip to, uh, to Sana, and I was really shocked by uh, what I've seen and what I've heard. People are being killed and wounded every day. A uh, lot of people are being displaced. Uh, wounded are uh, desperately waiting for surgical su uh, support and, and treatment uh, in hospitals. And even for, for the survivors, uh, it is extremely difficult. A man I met told me uh, that his children were traumatized by uh, hearing the airstrikes at night uh, uh, and how, how difficult it was for him uh, to reassure them uh, in, in under these terrible circumstances where you have no electricity, you have no means to entertain them. Uh, so it was very difficult for him to be a protective parent under these circumstances. There has been recently an uh, official communication by the coalition that it is the end of the decisive, the so-called decisive storm operation. Uh, and yet we don't have confirmation that the airstrikes uh, are going to stop. Uh, but this should be taken as a glimmer of hope. Uh, at best, one layer of conflict or adversity will be removed, but one should not forget the other many layers of conflict uh, and, and complexity for the civilian population in Yemen. There are today uh, many uh, players on the ground. There are existing conflicts uh, that have certainly been exacerbated by the current situation today. Uh, and I think today uh, nowhere, in s uh, nowhere is safe in, in Yemen. Uh, people are really uh, facing a lot of challenges. No electricity, no water, uh, no fuel. Uh, no public services, uh, no garbage collection, for instance, in a city like, like Sana today. Whatever happens from now on, the humanitarian situation will continue to be extremely challenging. Uh, the immediate and most pressing needs uh, and priorities for us as ICRC is to first maintain and intensify our dialogue with all, because without this dialogue we can go nowhere. Uh, a second important priority is uh, the supporting the medical facilities, the hospitals, uh, supporting the, the fantastic staff, uh, the Yemeni staff who have been working round the clock over the past days. We will do more in terms of food, in terms of uh, water supply, because this is also an absolute priority. It's important that we uh, continue our protection activities. Uh, we need to resume our visit to detainees. We need to uh, get families uh, back in touch. We need to uh, help the Yemeni Red Crescent uh, recover human remains and dead bodies. Uh, and, and last but not least, we need uh, to work hand in hand with the national society. We need to help the national society and, and be able to cover more needs in the country.